Hi friends, welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I am going to transplant out some cauliflower and artichoke that I've had in their transplant seed cups for quite some time. There were some starts that I picked up and I really needed to get them in the ground, but I didn't have anywhere for them to go. It's getting warm friends and it's definitely time to get those warm loving crops going if you haven't already. My snapdragons are looking absolutely beautiful. The storm toppled them over, but they are still going strong. This particular evening, it was kind of a hazy evening and it put off a really, really cool yellow tone in the sky. Now, artichokes can get really big, so I kind of pushed it just a little bit and I planted these a little bit too close. So you definitely should plant yours a little bit further apart, but I'm trying to maximize as much square footage in my garden as possible. Right now, I'm in the potage and this is just a kitchen garden right outside the door where I can come out and harvest. And I'm trying to maximize as much space as I can. So I planted these about 18 to 24 inches apart. Artichokes can definitely be spaced out two to even three feet apart. They are massive, massive plants. But if you don't have that much space, you can definitely plant them closer. The pathways are about a foot and a half from each other. And that should give these plants enough space to, you know, kind of stretch out. If I will need a little bit more space, I can always move them. This is a perennial in my zone. I'm in zone 8A here in Georgia, and hopefully I can get these off to a really good growing start. I had really good luck with my broccoli last season, and I'm hoping that I'll have good luck with these purple cauliflower as well. I have some additional brassicas to plant in the ground, but I'll be doing that right after I finish planting these in for the evening. The sun is going down and it's going down quickly, so I don't have much time coming home from work. I just try to get as much done as I possibly can before it's time for dinner. I hope you've gotten your transplants in the ground as well. Don't be like me guys and wait until your transplants are just totally parched before you plant them in the ground. You don't want to stunt your transplants. You want to give them a good growing start. But I understand if you're really busy and sometimes we just get busy and we and we don't have much time. So we do the best we can. But definitely get those things in the ground get your warm loving summer crop in the ground it's time for those beans and tomatoes and pumpkin and squash definitely time for all of those so i hope your gardens are growing well i hope you're doing well as well i will definitely see you all very soon if you're new to my channel make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you're putting in the ground right now during this time being that it's mid spring and it's getting really warm. I don't know if it's pretty warm where you are, but if it's still kind of chilly, it's definitely time still to get all of those warm loving crops ready to go in the ground or into your containers. So let me know in the comment section down below, what are you growing right now? And I'll see you all on the next video, bye.